of Red Dead Redemption 2 is massive, with tons of things to do and secrets to find on top of an insane level of detail that affects how the world around you works, keeping track of it all can be a bit daunting, especially when it comes to stuff the tutorials leave out or maybe don't explain super well. So here are 17 things that Red Dead 2 doesn't actually tell you. First up is something that may seem obvious to some, but completely missed by a lot of the rest of us. You can manually save your game by entering the pause screen and opening the story menu. Frustrated that the general clerk won't buy any of your shiny jewelry you have that's definitely not stolen? Never fear, your friendly neighborhood fence will take care of that for you. You can unlock access to fences after completing a mission with Hosea early on near Emerald Ranch. Fences will also let you craft special trinkets and talismans from the pelts of legendary animals, which will give you unique perks like boosting your score stat experience gains or improving the quality of harvested animal skin. As with any Rockstar game, there are tons of collectibles to find out in the world. What you may not realize, however, is that there's a side quest attached to almost all of them that will provide you with certain rewards for each set of collectibles you complete. A full set of cigarette cards, for example, are worth a lot to the right buyer. You know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. And you may not even have to look that hard. You can hunt these collectibles down individually, or you can find them in packs of premium cigarettes, which can be bought or picked up during your travels. You unlock new weapons by finding them out in the world. Try raiding a rival gang's camp or robbing a homestead to find a new addition to your arsenal. Unlike in the last game, equipping a bandana won't entirely hide your identity, and your honor will still take a hit if you kill a bunch of folks with it on. I want all the money you got, right now. Now putting on a bandana during a crime and taking it off afterwards makes the wanted meter drop faster, providing you're out of the search radius. The most obvious honorable versus dishonorable choice won't always be apparent. Killing a rival gang member isn't normally considered dishonorable, but if you antagonize them before killing them, it will be. Kill cams are impacted by your honor. If you play honorably, the camera on a kill replay will focus on Arthur. If you're dishonorable, it'll focus on the kill and represent it in a more intense way. Be careful when searching the saddlebags of someone else's horse, as it might kick you. You can avoid this by calming and patting the horse to gain its trust before you start searching the bags. Fast travel from camp is unlocked by upgrading Dutch's tent and then Arthur's in the ledger. Beyond that, your only option to traverse the map quickly is to pay for a ride on a train or a stagecoach. If you aren't near a train or a coach though, you can still make long journeys easier. Hold the run button in the cinematic camera while riding to have your horse automatically follow the road or head towards a waypoint. Now they do tell you that, but what they don't tell you is that you don't have to keep holding the button the whole way there. Once you're on your way, you can just put the controller down and enjoy the view. Be good to your horse. Feed it, keep it clean, and most importantly, keep it safe. Unlike the original Red Dead Redemption, your horse won't magically respond if something bad happens to it. Tell it to flee if bullets are about to start flying, avoid jumping off any high cliffs, and be sure to keep a bottle of Horse Reviver on hand, just in case. When you're riding around out in the wilderness, it can be easy to forget the basics of personal hygiene, but that doesn't mean everybody else will. If you walk into town, people will react differently depending on if you're clean, dirty, or whatever the hell happened here. You can clean yourself up by paying for a bath at a local hotel, or on the cheap by going for a dip in the river. When you're out hunting, you can tell the quality of a pelt you can expect to harvest from an animal by studying it and then selecting show info before choosing to bring it down. The food you cook at a campfire gives you the biggest boost to your core stats, but it can't be found on the radial wheel, it's in your satchel. These items aren't meant to be used as quick access consumables in a firefight, rather to prepare for and recover from fights or long journeys. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, cheat codes are back! Keep your eyes peeled while exploring the world for strange phrases that may seem out of place, graffitied in railway tunnels, or etched into frozen lakes. They may be cheat codes, 
You can enter them by pausing the game and going to the settings menu, then pressing triangle or Y to open the cheats menu, then hitting it again to enter the cheat. And don't worry, you won't have to keep a big list somewhere. The cheat code will be saved for future use. But you'll lose the ability to save your game or unlock trophies or achievements when you activate them. Y'all be careful where you wander. Of course, there's a lot more to survival in the Old West than just these few tips, so be sure to mosey on over to our full Red Dead Redemption 2 wiki. Also, make sure to check out our review of the game and the first opening minutes of the campaign. For everything else wild and western, you're already in the right place. IGN.